Nissan is testing a new technology called ProPilot Assist. It can control the gas and steering wheel for less driver fatigue. It's not a fully automated technology, as drivers are still required to keep their hands on the wheel, but it's a step in that direction. I recently tried out the technology on the streets of Los Angeles, well, actually the freeways. I was in one of a handful of prototype Nissan Rogue SUVs that have the tech added on. Engineers added some sensors and cameras to the SUV to give it the high-tech features. Behind the wheel, it was pretty simple to activate. Once you're at a good cruising speed on the freeway, just touch a button to activate the Pro Pilot Assist feature. The dashboard lets you know if the computers have a good feel for the lines on the road. If not, it won't let the feature activate. Once activated, Pro Pilot Assist literally takes control of the wheel and gas pedal. The system senses the car in front of you and keeps a safe following distance. You can also feel the wheel turning under your hands as the car follows the curves of the road. If you take your hands off the wheel, you will get a gentle reminder to put them back on. The system is meant to assist the driver and not take over the driver's responsibilities. The technology is not necessarily new. Several other car brands, including Nissan's own Infiniti luxury brand, have similar semi-automated features. The difference here is that Nissan is going to make this an affordable option for its everyday car lineup, so it's not just limited to premium brands with expensive price tags. As for me, I love what is happening in the self-driving car space and it's great that companies like Nissan continue to push the envelope. Pro Pilot Assist is especially handy for Los Angeles stop-and-go freeway traffic. With it, the car can literally inch down a crowded freeway all by itself, saving the driver from a lot of fatigue. On the flip side, when it comes to open freeway driving, I'm torn. Adaptive cruise control is a great help on long trips. And, while it's nice that the car can also follow the curves of the road, at this point since the system isn't confident enough for hands off the wheel driving, it seems easier to just leave this feature off, and let the humans do the work until the robots are ready to really take over. Nissan has redesigned its groundbreaking Leaf all-electric car for 2018 and extended the driving range on a single charge to an estimated 150 miles, up from 107 miles on the 2017 model. The exterior and interior have been restyled, and the new model has a 147 horsepower electric motor, up from the current 107 horsepower. Torque has been increased 36% to 236 foot-pounds, giving the Leaf quicker starts. LEAF's new lithium-ion battery pack is the same size as before, but has higher density to provide more power, allowing for the increase in driving range. Nissan says that coming for 2019 will be a higher-priced LEAF model with an even more powerful battery and longer range. Many electric vehicle experts believe that a minimum range of 200 miles is what consumers want to avoid having anxiety about whether they will run out of power prematurely. But Nissan insists that the new Leaf's 150-mile range should satisfy the daily driving needs of the majority of Leaf owners. Other new technology in the 2018 Leaf includes the e-pedal, which Nissan says will let drivers use a single pedal for more than 90% of their driving needs, including most braking. But, the automaker said, the conventional brake pedal must still be used in aggressive braking situations. With the e-pedal, when the driver takes his foot off the accelerator pedal, the car will come to a smooth and complete stop without the need to press the brake pedal, Nissan says. The e-pedal eliminates the need for drivers to constantly move their foot from the accelerator to the brake pedal to slow down or stop, Nissan says. This helps reduce fatigue and increase enjoyment. Also new is the Pro Pilot Assist system which is a combination of adaptive cruise control, emergency forward braking, and lane keep assist. Once it is activated, Nissan says, Pro Pilot Assist can automatically control the distance to the vehicle in front, using a speed preset by the driver, 
between 20 mph and 90 mph. It can also help the driver steer and keep the vehicle centered in its lane. If the car in front stops, the system will apply the brakes to bring the vehicle to a full stop if necessary, Nissan says, and, after stopping, the vehicle will remain in place even if the driver's foot comes off the brake pedal. When traffic begins moving again, the car will start moving if the driver touches the switch or lightly presses the accelerator pedal. Among other advanced safety gear available on the new LEAF are Intelligent Lane Intervention, Lane Departure Warning, Intelligent Emergency Braking, Blind Spot Warning, Rear Cross Traffic Alert, and the Intelligent Around View Monitor with Moving Object Detection. Also new is a system that can share power between the vehicle and homes, buildings or power grids. Using vehicle-to-home systems, the battery makes it possible to store surplus solar power during the daytime and then use it to help power the home in the evening, Nissan said. The customer can also recharge the battery in the middle of the night, when prices are lowest in some markets, and then use the electricity during the day to reduce energy costs. The LEAF's chassis has been beefed up for improved stability, with heavy components such as the battery pack put in the center of the car to help improve directional stability and bring smoother cornering. LEAF's new exterior design makes it look more like a traditional hatchback than it does now. It has the Nissan V-Motion grille, boomerang light signature and floating roof, making the car look similar to other current Nissan models, such as the Rogue Compact Crossover. There are new projector beam headlights with dual, direct lens low and high beams. Unique rear combination lights. An integrated spoiler. And a new low hood. The angle of the charging port at the front has been reconfigured for greater convenience, letting the customer connect the charging cable without bending down, the automaker says. Ergonomic testing by Nissan shows that this new 45-degree angle allows drivers of all heights to easily and comfortably connect the charger. The new Leaf is 1.4 inches longer than the current model, and seats up to five people comfortably. The hatchback lifts up to reveal 23.6 cubic feet of cargo space. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability have been incorporated into the infotainment system in cars that have the navigation system. The audio and navigation functions can be set using a steering wheel switch, without taking hands off the leather-wrapped steering wheel. The Nissan Connect system running through the audio navigation system can help find charging stations, and give the driver the station's operating hours and availability. Owners can also use their smartphones to check the car's battery charge status. A new front console has dual cup holders between the front seats, allowing for a storage tray at the base of the console for smartphones and wallets. There is also a 12-volt power outlet and a USB port. The cabin air conditioning is energy efficient, and a smartphone app allows for remote preheating or cooling of the vehicle's interior. No on-sale date has been announced yet for the US, but it will be early next year, Nissan says. It goes on sale in Japan on October 2. The LEAF will be assembled at the Nissan plant in Smyrna, Tennessee, near Nashville, which produces the current model, along with other Nissan vehicles. Prices have not yet been announced. Japanese car makers, Nissan unveiled the new generation LEAF electric vehicle in Japan earlier this month. While the first generation, which was launched in 2010, managed to sell almost 3 lakh units globally, Nissan is hoping for more this time with the new LEAF. How you ask? Nissan has heavily invested in the new technology and innovations which the company says will give its opponents a run for its money. The company boasts of groundbreaking technology and innovations that makes the new LEAF even better than its predecessor. We take a look at the autonomous features that makes the new Nissan LEAF a force to reckon with in the electric vehicle segment. The new Nissan LEAF is offering advanced technology to the growing market for mainstream electric vehicles. With Nissan Intelligent Driving, 
the new LEAF is more connected to its driver with three unique features that the company says will change the way we drive. These include Pro Pilot, Pro Pilot Park and E-Pedal. Hiroki Isob, Chief Vehicle Engineer, Nissan Motor Company said, Drivers of the new Nissan LEAF will quickly come to love the E-Pedal, as it makes the usual experience of urban driving far smoother and more fluid, and less demanding. Our testing has showed that drivers quickly find the e-pedal intuitive and even enjoyable. It promotes anticipation on the road, which in turn has a positive effect on driving pleasure. The ProPilot feature is a single-lane autonomous driving technology that can automatically control the distance to the vehicle in front, using a speed fixed by the driver. It can also help the driver navigate and keep the vehicle in its lane. If the car in front stops, the ProPilot system will automatically apply the brakes to bring the vehicle to a full stop. The car will then resume driving when the switch is activated again or on lightly pressing of the accelerator. Nissan says that this function can significantly reduce stress when driving on the highway in both heavy and flowing traffic. The next feature is the ProPilot Park. This is a fully-fledged system that helps the drivers to park automatically controlling acceleration, brakes, handling, shift changing and parking brakes to guide the car into a parking spot. By combining four high-resolution cameras and information from 12 ultrasonic sensors around the car, the ProPilot Park guides the car into a space accurately. All steering, braking and throttle inputs are automated. The system can automatically identify a parking space around the car so that the driver doesn't need to set a target parking position. Requiring only three easy steps for activation, this technology liberates drivers from one of the most tedious, and at times the most challenging, tasks of driving. Another innovation that enhances the Nissan Leaf's driving experience is the e-pedal, offered as standard equipment. This feature allows the driver to start, accelerate, decelerate, stop and hold the car by using the accelerator pedal alone. Nissan has high hopes from the e-pedal feature as it can change the way people drive. By simply releasing the accelerator, the car will come to a smooth and complete stop and hold without the need to press the brake pedal. The e-pedal eliminates the need for drivers to constantly move their foot from the accelerator to the brake pedal to slow down or stop. This helps reduce fatigue. According to a study conducted by Nissan, the Leaf's e-pedal reduces the number of times the driver must apply the brakes while commuting in heavily congested traffic. While the conventional brake pedal must be used in aggressive braking situations, the e-pedal lets drivers use a single pedal for more than 90% of their driving needs. Along with ProPilot, ProPilot Park and e-pedal, the new Nissan LEAF is equipped with a set of advanced safety technologies including intelligent lane intervention, lane departure warning, intelligent emergency braking, blind spot warning, traffic sign recognition, rear cross traffic alert and intelligent around view monitor with moving object detection and emergency assist for pedal misapplication. The new Nissan LEAF goes on sale on October 2nd in Japan, while the deliveries for the US, Canada and European markets will start from January next year. While the LEAF is sold in more than 60 markets worldwide, Nissan is hoping to bring in the new LEAF to India as well with dry runs to commence by end of this year to check if it is feasible to launch an electric vehicle in India.